excellent in all, for all, by all. My name is Dr. Joe Coleman and I'm the proud principal of North Shore Senior High School. North Shore Senior High School opened in 1962 on Holly Park Drive. Over the next several decades, the population continued to increase, leading to the opening of a new campus on Castle Gory in 1999, housing our 11th and 12th grade students. As the population continued to grow, a 10th grade wing was added and opened in 2008. In the fall of 2018, the district will open a world-class 10th grade center. North Shore Senior High School is a very diverse school made up of nearly 3,700 students and 300 faculty members. 50% of our professional staff has over 10 years of experience. Although we are one of the largest campuses in Texas, we continue to offer rigorous programs that prepare our students for career and college-ready opportunities. And I'm excited to talk a little bit about some of our ac academic programs that exceed um, state standards. One that we are exceptionally proud of at North Shore Senior High School is our dual credit program. That dual credit program has grown exponentially over the last three years. One of the things that we really love about it is that it meets the district's mission of producing uh, college and career productive citizens who are ready to go to work or go on to college. Many of our students are leaving high school um, with anywhere from 12 to 40 college hours that they can take with them to universities of their choice. We have a great partnership with San Jack where we're able to offer a variety of classes, whether that is the traditional English electives or um, welding dual credit classes. Our students are able to do a variety of things. Students, their parents, our community is really saving a lot of money because the students get a scholarship to attend San Jack and parents are only paying $50 per class. The school district buys all the textbooks and our students have been incredibly successful in their dual credit classes. I am graduating with 27 college credit hours uh, on my transcript. I feel that the courses that I've had to take in those hours have really helped me see what the actual college world is like with still not being there yet. She takes a lot of time, Ms. Harden, to even educate all the dual credit students on the options that they have after high school. You know, whether you want to do something like that you can get a certification for at San Jack if you want to go to trade school, if you want to go to a four-year university, and what to do if you do want to go those places. Um, at North Shore Senior High, our dual credit program, I really believe is one in a million in the state of Texas, if not the nation. Um, not only do we nurture the kids in how to be a college student, how to be self-sufficient, um, we also follow up with that with them and we ensure the most credits possible for them for their future. And so it really helps show them um, how to have that self-responsibility that they need to have going forward into college. They also love the fact that they can get up to, I've, I've awarded a girl up to 38 credit hours this year. So up to 38 hours and she's paid $50 a class. That's a remarkable cut on tuition um, that typically would be about $300, $400 a class once they're, not in once they're not in high school anymore. So Devin was able to take classes as a sophomore, which um, sophomore, junior, and senior, which has allowed him to go into college as above a freshman, so he'll have enough credits as a sophomore. It takes almost a whole year off of, well, it will take a whole year off of his college. I just think that the dual credit program itself, it, it gives the students a, a chance to see what college life is like you know, be, before stepping out there into the big world. In addition to the academic credit hours that our students get, they're also leaving San Jack with industry certifications that they can take into the workforce and have marketable, productive jobs immediately after high school. I had decided like my sophomore year that I wanted to be a doctor. So at the end of our junior year, they put us all in this assembly and we're kind of like, hey, there's this EMT program. And I was like, oh, that sounds really cool. When you complete it, you take this uh, test called the National Registry and you become a nationally certified uh, emergency medical technician and so you can get a job in any state 
it's really nice to be able to go into college already having a couple of credit hours. It was completely free, so it was really nice to not have to worry about, oh, how am I going to buy this textbook or how am I going to work a job and do clinicals at the same time to be able to pay for the class, which is amazing because I got to focus more on the important stuff like doing my homework and learning about how to save lives. Students at North Shore Senior High are required to participate in a sequential course of study within their CTE courses. What this means is that for them to have a CTE coherent sequence for graduation, students um, embark in a program such as medical coding, manufacturing, animation, culinary, or dental assistance, or even finance. In these courses, students are able to get hands-on experiences in which they enhance their collaboration, critical thinking, and communication skills. Two programs we'd like to highlight for you today are our criminal justice and our auto tech programs. We are, I offer several different certifications that the students uh, have an opportunity to get. For one, we have the 911 certification, which is a national certification. Uh, after completing uh, the, the course, uh, becoming certified, they can take that certification anywhere in the United States and, uh, and be employable right after high school as a 911 telecommunicator operator. Right now, uh, one of our uh, biggest uh, contributors to the program is the Harris County Sheriff's Office. Uh, we also work with uh, the Texas Department of Public Safety, DPS, who comes in and also helps with the uh, training. Gives the uh, students an opportunity to see if, if criminal justice is something that they really want to do as a lifelong uh, career because you have to have the mentality and the heart to want to help, you know, help your fellow man. The criminal justice uh, program here at North Shore it's just that it's a, a program that centers around uh, criminal justice issues. And so it's all designed to uh, vet those students that are interested in law enforcement and try to keep them engaged in that uh, from the time they are uh, freshmen to their graduate as a senior. The board members are now trying to create that next platform, and that is the transition from high school until they're 21 and trying to keep them engaged in law enforcement. We're looking at now hiring them as communication officers part-time and, and keeping them employed and trying to do a dual program to where we also pay for some of their uh, college hours while they're working in communications, trying to hold them interested in law enforcement until they turn 21. And then they can become uh, police officers. Being part of this criminal justice team which was after school. I got to be CPR certified twice. Um, I, we, I was in his 911 program, so if I wanted to, I could have chosen to go into communication. I could have worked for a 911 center anywhere. We have what we call a program called AYES. AYES allows them to go at the end of the junior year to develop a program to where they can go out and work in the industry at a dealership or an independent. Uh, they have to be portfolios, they have to uh, have good grades. Also in their senior year, if they find a job uh, that's re automotive related, they can also go to work, earn money. Uh, during the daytime, they do their academic classes in the morning and then they leave and go to work. At the end of the year, we have uh, what we call a job interview. The dealerships come in and interview these students and they, they pick their student. Well, he sat us down, talked to us, make sure we had everything together, uh, make sure we learned the proper techniques and the skills that we need to transfer into an actual dealership itself, be professional, um, all the skills a person needs to be able to work at a dealership. These are a few of the amazing areas that we are proud of here at North Shore Senior High School. Despite being economically disadvantaged, we consistently beat other schools statewide, academically, and in UIL competitions. Thanks to Dr. Williams and the Board of Trustees for all of your support. And whoop up on them! In addition to being the Associate Principal at, no, I moved my hand. 
As a parent, I've seen the financial impact that dual credit has on our family. In addition to that, I've seen that my student, I said in addition to it. Again. It's all right. <laughs> okay. Other parents have expressed to us that this is a benefit. Oh, I can't say this part. These are a few areas of, oh, I gotta try to start over. Um, I forgot everything you My name is Devin Stiff. Oh, I said, uh. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. And, uh, there's something else I wanted to say. It's about, what did you ask me? And there's something that came in my mind. <laughs>